There's a few key equipment pieces that you need to have on hand and that the personnel need to have access to if you're going to have a successful and safe burn. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach has put together a free downloadable publication that you can print off that showcases all of the available hand tools out there on the market. It starts with the drip torch. You need some way to put fire on the ground. These drip torches are designed to put fire on the ground in a safe manner. They use a mixture of three parts or four parts diesel fuel to one part gasoline. The gasoline gives it the ignition, the diesel fuel gives it longevity, so it's going to stick and burn to what it drops on. It's very simple. You fill this three quarters with fuel, your fuel mix. You have an airlock on the top that adjusts the rate of flow. And so when we tip this over, fuel runs out over this wick. You run a little spot onto the ground. You light that with your lighter or your match. And from that little spot on the ground, you light your drip torch. This allows you to put fire where you want it. It will drizzle flare out as you move through the, the line. If you want to stop burning, you just lift the nozzle up, the flow of fuel will stop, and you'll stop the fire putting it down on the ground. So it's critical that you have one of these. Not everybody's going to run out and buy one of these, but they are in a lot of county conservation board areas or your natural parks areas available to borrow or to rent for the day or for the weekend. So look into these. You also need to have a few hand tools. It's probably one of the most widely used tools out there on the fire. It's a round pointed shovel. It allows you to move litter and duff around. You can move sticks that are on fire. Again, very handy. Everyone should have at least a few round pointed shovels on the fire line. Also, a garden rake, a stiff tined metal rake is really handy when you have to create fire breaks. It allows you to pull that litter and those sticks away from an area that you don't want burned. And being metal, they're flame or fire resistant. So you should have a few of these on the fire line. Now, if you're burning in larger areas and you have lots of fire breaks to install and you're in the timber, your fire break doesn't have to be very wide, three to four feet if your litter is not very tall, all right? The easiest way that we've found is to utilize a backpack sprayer. And I have one of those back here. It's a backpack air blower system. You put that on and, and you have a person with headgear so they're protecting their ears. They walk around the entire perimeter of the fire, blowing the leaves, blowing the litter, and these will blow such air volume that you will burn right down or you'll blow right down to mineral soil. Once you've reached mineral soil, the fire will not jump across that line or it shouldn't jump across that line. So the backpack air blower is really handy if you have large areas and long areas that you need to install fire breaks for. Other tools that are very handy on the fire line. This is more specialized. This is called a flapper. And the name is not appropriate. You're not going to be slapping the fire because what you'll do is you'll spread burning embers. What you're going to do is you're going to drag this over the burning areas that you want to put out. 